Good morning. Um, today I'm just gonna wash my brushes. I thought I'd take you along for the ride. So this is like my absolute mess of a table at the moment. And this is where all my brushes live, but they have been getting dirty. So in here I have all my brush cleaning supplies. And I always just grab these, one of those stand things. So I just bring this into the kitchen. I bring all the brushes and yeah. So I'm just going to clean the, clean the kitchen quickly and take you in. Right, I'm just going to put it like that. You can just see my lovely sink. So I have set up all my other area of stuff. I've got like my little stand. I've got a whole collection of brush guards that I use depending on stuff and I picked up this from Dezo the other day so this is where I'm going to start and I thought this had something to do with it but the idea is that you put it like that when you finish and that you just use this to wash and so I essentially just put some water in I am using Schwarzkopf shampoo I did used to use the Dezo brush conditioner stuff, but um, I, I realized I didn't like it. And then I've also got this lovely little cleaning mat that I do use. But I thought this would be a cool one. So I've got shampoo in there. And then just rinse like that. Oh yeah. Maybe I do like this one. Oh. So depending on the brush style, depends on if you need to use a brush guard. You can sort of see on this one that it's a little bit fluffy. So this one sort of needs a brush guard. And that just means that it will dry flat, but compared to this one, this one doesn't need it. Alright, this is actually really good. Alright, this is way more effective than my mat system. But let's get into some harder products. It's like it's had concealer on it. Oh my god. Alright, this Dezo thing is magical. This is just powder, that should be fine. Let's go in with another concealer brush. This is a brush I use a lot. This is the Zoeva concealer brush. Oops. So it's got these really cool little sticky up things and that's really making my life a lot easier. I think I want to like super glue it into the bottom though. Mm. Let's add a little bit more. Nice. And because I'm lazy, I'm going to go in with like a multitude of a couple brushes. Yeah. I got my Wayne Goss fan brush coming up. Alright, these ones have all been used to cut the crease at some point. Damn. 
So I'm just getting a pile, they're all different sizes, so dropping them in upside down and letting that decide. I'm just spare. They're all really clean, except for that one. I'm just going to show you what that noise is. Did you see it? That noise was Marceline jumping on her stand. Marceline, what are you doing? Alright, so we're moving into some of my bigger brushes. And this guy. Alright, that was too much water. Pretty much just like to rinse this off. Usually I would do like a bit different, but this dice this Daiso thing has changed changed the game up. Gosh, I'm just gonna well, I'm just gonna do some other brush. These are powders, these are pretty easy just to clean really. And um But look, this is like my eco-saving brush cleaning ways. I'm excited. So yeah, so I used to use the Daiso brush cleaner, but it would never get concealer out, or would never clean foundation or concealer. And that just, I would be cleaning and cleaning, cleaning my brushes, not understanding why, they, like my foundation brush could never be clean. And it ended up, that it was the Daiso brush cleaner stuff. Uh, because when I switched to shampoo, it has just been a dream cleaning my brushes. And cheaper, well, I mean about the same price probably, but last for ages. And my brushes all smell really nice now. So I'm going to finish this out with my Troublemaker. This is my foundation brush. This is the MAC 170. And it is one of my favourite brushes. But, let's see what I'll show you. What happens with the foundation brushes is that they get these layers of foundation on the inside. Super gross. But it's really hard to get up in there and do it. So let's see how days go. You see how much like foundation's just come out. So I don't know if the Sigma mat seals better than this. I have wanted to try it, but this is this is like a mat from AliExpress. And let's see how this went. No, it's still up in there. It did an okay job. It's still not amazing. Um, does anyone have like a trick in getting the layers of foundation out? Because it seems fine to get them from the top bit, but it layers in there. I see that's pretty well back to normal, but well, kind of. Yeah, no, that is a fairly clean brush now. 
Uh, but it just, the internal layers get so full. Whew. Anyway, so what I tend to do now is just rinse all the soap off everything. And so this is why I, I use like a drying mat. I'll show you what a mat. As my makeup brush holder. And then these big brushes, sometimes they hold a bit of soap in them. So I usually rinse them. And just see. Yeah, there's still heaps in it. And then you can see I got my little brush stand. And this is where all the brushes are. So I'm just gonna put these out to dry on the other side. But let's see if we can get out. This spiky thing did a really good job cleaning today. Oh, very impressed. And you're not meant to put your brushes upside down when drying, so I probably won't use that. And then pretty much I just, well I dab them a bit and stick them in the stand. Oh, this one. And then if you're putting a brush guard on, it just means that the brush will dry in all the right sort of direction. But most of them do do it of their own accord, really. So I have tried a few different things for that foundation brush. I've tried covering it in waterproof makeup remover. I've tried uh, soaking it in shampoo. I've tried, oh no, I've tried, maybe I haven't tried nappy set. Maybe I should try that. Um, but have you got any tips? Uh, what do you use? And because it's because it's the Fenty foundation, I'm pretty sure, just to lame someone. But it's those high coverage or like the Lancome concealer. Uh, they just they're extremely hard to get out of anything even my um, halo cleanser like face halos they do not um, they just they don't wash very easily really I think if you're using like a light like a BB cream or something you're not going to have any of those problems let's just use another brush guard for this one Alright, so I filled that fella up now. I don't think any of them, any of the other ones really need brush guards now. Probably could put one on that one, but oh well. I've not done it before. I've not put one on it before and it's dried fine. And then this is like a dish drying mat. So I tend to just lay them out on this. Um, the ones that don't fit on here. and let them dry like that. Um, and then I'll probably relocate them into my room just so that they're not in the way for cooking dinner and stuff like that later.